so did I forget to vlog a little more yesterday after work and also give an outro for yesterday's video? Yeah, I did. I'm sorry. But I have a good explanation to that. Uh, I'm just tired. Vlog. August. Vloggers. morning into Airbnb. It is another beautiful day here in Oneida, New York. And, well, theoretically, this is kind of like my Friday, even though it is Friday today. It's the way the schedule is. But this week, I had to negotiate with my bosses because, well, a month back, I put in my notice to say that, hey, for this week coming up, I need to have the Saturday and Sunday off this coming week. But in exchange, I'm willing to work the Tuesday, Wednesday just to make up for it of this week. But I think that kind of went... <laughs> but at the same time, the reason being is that tomorrow, me and the family, we are going to take a day up to Sterling, New York to go to the Sterling Renaissance Festival. And, oh, I can't wait because this has been like two years since the pandemic that... We were unable to go. Yeah, there were digital sales. There were like virtual fairs and stuff, but nothing beats good old fashioned just going in person, going in costume and just having a good old time. And oh, I can't wait because not only do I have my costume sorted out, but also I've got some blue hair wax, which I've been experimenting with for some time. And that fucking looks good. I can't wait. And to go there in person, not only with myself, but with my husband and flatmate as well. Oh, yes, I forgot. Flatmate. <laughs> yes, we've had a flatmate now for nearly a year. And <sighs> again, just the whole experience of going up to the Renaissance Festival, I, I just can't fucking wait. But in regards to yesterday, it was one, it's another day where I just got home, I flopped, played more GTA, had a laugh with the fam, and ended up what you call it getting a DD session in as well in which holy shit D, &D is fucking awesome i love Dungeons and dragons and one i'm curious to see the new Dungeons and dragons movie when it comes out i want to see that and it looks awesome but in a mindset of playing Dungeons and dragons it is so cool because you never know what to expect how shit's gonna go down and yesterday Chris left it on such a cliffhanger it was like no this is a short session we need more so I don't know if we're gonna be playing more tonight if not that's fair but at the same time it's just like oh my god because yes in the past you know played a lot of D&D games online but this one is like properly tabletop wise me my flatmate and now chris we're all in the same room just round a table just seeing the expressions and the emotions and everything coming in and just seeing each other face to face to do this it's like oh, i mean there's nothing wrong with roll 20. love roll 20 to bit but i think what makes it more interesting more awesome is the actual face-to-face -face, because you can confront uh, the DM you can see your enemies through his eyes or their eyes and just be like yeah I'm gonna fucking murder you or I'm gonna fall in love with you or uh, all but oh my god I kind of hope we have D&D tonight but the way my schedule is I'm 11 30 till 5 odd so that's six hours today, and I'm working the floor. It's gonna be, ugh. And even if we don't play today, that's perfectly fine. Most probably tomorrow after still in. <laughs> but, oh. Yep, six hours to work today. Need to get myself a drink, a cup of coffee and all that. Get into work, get rid of these six hours. And then the next two days, lunge into adventure and Fucking renaissance, I... Oh! <laughs> I still can't wait! I think, honestly, personally speaking, 
you know, why I am more excited about the uh, Sterling trip more than anyone in the fam is that it's getting out now we rarely go out these days because but one we me and Chris we don't have a car anymore cars completely forgot skied so we had to surrender the license plates and just say right that's it so we had to do that but our flatmate she's the only one that drives so we rarely go out because, well, we just had to make sure everyone was comfortable. But when we do, we usually go out for a little bit, maybe down to New Hartford for once or twice in a time, or just go out do laundry and stuff. But to go to Sterling is such an awesome experience because we're getting out of the city for a bit. And to be honest, I personally want to do that. I want to get out of an Ida for just a day. Because honestly, not to say I'm tired of seeing the same stuff in an Ida, but I'm tired of seeing the same stuff in an Ida. And especially as well after working the two years so far during the pandemic, where, sorry, I'm trying to move you guys around. I'm holding an umbrella because apparently we're supposed to have thunderstorms later. But the fact that in the two years that I have been walking up and down this street during the pandemic in Oneida without having the experience or the opportunity to get out of Oneida properly it's so it's so tired it really is tired and like I said, nothing wrong with this sound, but at the same time, I'm just tired of seeing the same old thing again and again and again, and I need to get out. I'm the outdoorsy type person, I mean, like a dog, just put the lead on me and I'll run around, get the day, and then get back in the car, and then boom, I'm down, and I'm out for the count. It's just nice to get a change of scenery from everything, and to do this tomorrow, I am so happy to do. I know for a fact that... Not only do I have to pick up one or two items, but also as well, uh, pick a couple of snacks as well for tomorrow. Because it's going to be about, what, a two hour drive? So I think some snack goes for the car, but at the same time, maybe get some coffee for the road. Yeah. But, uh, it is a nice opportunity that we'll be able to do this. Yes, there will be video. Yes, there will be some definite pictures and especially as well for my flatmate because one she got her costume together last minute two not only was she having in mind the idea that she wants to play as her character from the D, &D campaign in which i think that's freaking awesome it you know awesome to do we helped contribute getting her elf ears and everything in between I mean, honestly, if I had the opportunity to do that, to play as my character in Sterling, well, I would have need to have had a month to prepare because I play as a Furbolg, and as a Furbolg Barbarian, one, not really that much in shape, but I don't care, and two, I would have needed a lot of body paint because I am a blue Furbolg with purple hair. And looking at the prices on furball gears, Etsy, you're a bitch. But besides the point, see, I'm rambling on. I can't wait to do this tomorrow. There will be pictures, and oh, just oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I thought today I'm just tired again. Work just it was alright for the first half, but by the second half, going into the my ending shift, it just turned into a big what the fuck, I'm not going to argue anymore, I'm just tired, I don't want to bother with anyone, I just want to get out and go home. So I did. And played more GTA. And relaxed. But I need to get some sleep now because tomorrow is the big day, so i got to be up early tomorrow. So I'm going to call it night. Well thank you guys for watching today's little video, hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have as always, hit that like. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand spanking new day, hopefully you should be better than the rest for bloggers as we go up to Sterling Renaissance Fair. 
Yay! <laughs> it's about two of these guys.